Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. Man, oh man, we are really throwing it back today. Last time I did a thrifting Urban Outfitter dupes video was maybe two years ago. And the reason as to why I wanted to bring it back today is because I was actually browsing the Urban Outfitter site the other day. And oh my gosh, you guys, almost every single thing on their website is literally a copy of something that I've seen at the thrift store. But Urban Outfitters is super expensive. If you guys know me, you know how much I love to shop sales. And even though there's something I really want, I always try to wait for when it goes on sale so that I could get it at a better price. So I'm actually going to come through for you because today's video is actually sponsored by Karma. So Karma is actually a free Chrome extension and app and I like to think of it as your own personal shopping buddy. Karma enables you to go ahead and save an item that you've been eyeing and then it notifies you when that item goes on sale. They have over 50,000 stores that you can go ahead and organize things into lists. So if you want to go ahead and split your shopping up into categories, it makes it super easy to do so. Karma also has an amazing function that it can actually go ahead and find you discount codes. So when you're ready to go ahead and check out, it would actually automatically apply the best coupon code so you guys can save an extra buck wherever you you can and then once you have those items saved in folders you would actually automatically be notified if any one of those items drop in price so you can go ahead and snag it up as soon as it goes on sale and then you can also earn cash back every time you spend I mean spending money and then getting money who doesn't love that so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below for you guys to download the free chrome extension and without further ado you guys I am so excited to start hunting for these dupes so let's get into it always love coming to this Goodwill because it's honestly huge. I can spend the entire day here and just like tradition, I thought it would be really fun to go ahead and start off in the denim section, mainly because I haven't bought myself denim in a while and something on my list today is to find a pair of jeans that I can maybe crop and make into ideal summer shorts. Urban Outfitters has some of the best denims and I feel like a lot of them are really mimicking the style of vintage jeans in general. Whoa, okay. These are the most stunning wash of Wrangler denim. I'm obsessed with Wrangler, you guys. These ones, my favorite jeans, you've definitely seen them before. They're actually Wrangler as well and I've always wanted to get myself a pair to turn into shorts and this may be the perfect opportunity so stunning there's also so many Wranglers on the Urban Outfitters site along with Lee and Levi's those are the three brand jeans that I feel like will give you that like vintage look yeah here you go obviously these ones are gonna be too big for my waist but it is a pair of Lee jeans which I've been able to find a lot of at the thrift stores also guys can we just take a second and appreciate my nails I just got them done today perfect timing how stunning So with Urban Outfitter dupes, I tend to focus here in the men's section because I feel like I always look for like the oversized, very athletic and athleisure styles. Right here in the men's, I actually found this stunning Adidas jacket. I wish there wasn't a logo right here, but honestly, I'm obsessed with this color and the size too. It's only $7.99, but I'm telling you guys, Adidas coming back hard. I mean, especially the superstars. They are like my favorite sneakers right now and I've been wearing them all the time. I don't know why I ever stopped. I feel like they're gonna come back the way the Nike Air Force Ones did. But even with a pair of shorts, I'd love this look. Uh, you guys, I'm obsessed with the beading in the bottom of this shirt. How Mary Kate and Ashley is this? And I'm also seeing a lot of halters too, which I see on Urban Outfitters a ton right now. Okay, perfect dupe. The ring in the middle. I'm obsessed with this. I can't believe I just found this. Guys, these ring tops right now, you see this detail right here? There's so many tops with it, so many bathing suits also. And I love the color of this. It's so nice and neutral. Don't really know where my boobs are going to go in this one, but it's too good to pass up. This one here is actually kind of cool too. I thought that I had buttons going all the way down, but it just buttons up here at the top and then you can have a nice bralette underneath. But giving me those like cowgirl vibes which I'm seeing a ton of right now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still really into the checker vans. These ones surprisingly look like they're in perfect condition. And I mean, they're selling them on Urban Outfitters right now. But as for shoes, I'm really trying to find myself some like cute dainty sandals. Not much luck here, but maybe we'll find more at the next thrift store. Okay, so women's lingerie, that's where you're gonna be finding a lot of the tops that are replicated on Urban Outfitters right now. Here's an example, like these nice little silky camis with the beautiful detail. I love this burnt orange one. I mean, this could look so nice even as a going out top and the ones on the website are retailing for like over $70 right now. No, thank you <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again Whoever was in charge of choosing this green paint for all the change rooms in Goodwill should be fired for the first stop I wanted to show you guys. I actually love the bottom so much I find this little fringe here so cute, but as you can tell the straps are super high They're not adjustable too So I'm obviously gonna leave it behind because we're only buying things that we need these jeans are a perfect fit They are a little bit shorter than I would have ideally wanted but I actually think they show off the sneakers pretty well probably my favorite one for denim too. These are just the best. 
So something else I've been seeing on Urban Outfitters a ton right now is velour track suits and especially the juicy ones. I can't believe that they carry them. In Canada, it was honestly so hard for me to find them ever. I wonder if people wore those like velour juicy track suits here. So maybe we can find something like that. I'm especially just kind of looking for that velour material. What? I'm obsessed with this color and it's even matching my nails right now, you guys. There isn't a brand on it, but this is perfect for spring. So, Urban Outfitters right now is like cargos galore. I'm seeing so many different cargos or parachute pants, whatever you want to call them. They're honestly selling for so expensive when you can find them so much cheaper at a thrift store. I mean, I love so many of the bottoms that I see here. Like, I'm literally just pulling a couple. Here's a really cool pair with a wider leg bottom. I actually really want to try these on. I just personally like to stay away from the ones that are like super, super stiff. So as you can see, this material it's really hard very stiff not so comfortable honestly you guys you know what's so crazy to me the fact that I noticed trends are coming in and out so quickly I mean I just found these pants right here which last summer just last summer they were all the rave this is definitely something that was on Urban Outfitters maybe even right now it's from the brand love and harmony and I'm like this is something that people would have bought off of Urban Outfitters just last year so it's crazy to me how much trends are like coming in and out so much that's why what I wanted to focus on with this video is I'm not necessarily looking for things that are trendy right now at Urban Outfitters but more things that I personally like for myself and I want to find a nice dupe of. One of my favorite colors for the spring and summer is a nice pastel banana yellow. I actually just found a pair of jeans that definitely look high-waisted from Jones Jeans in the prettiest like baby banana color. Is baby banana even a color? Another pair of cargos and these ones actually have the zippers at the knees. Like how dad is that? But nice pockets in the back and I do have a pair in olive that I love but not a pair in beige so I do want to try them. <laughs> Guys my allergies today are acting up. I don't even know if it's just like <laughs> I don't know if it's that time of year. I don't know if it's just extra dusty today at these thrift stores, but oh my gosh, I like need a reactant ASAP. <laughs> what the heck? This shouldn't be a surprise. We actually found a pair of cowboy boots, which Urban Outfitters has a ton of right now. As much as I think they can look so cute, it is like too hot for me to wear them. So this dress right here, I noticed that a lot of the Urban Outfitters dress are just very cottagecore inspired and I love the ruffles here. I don't know if this one will be too short, but it's honestly so beautiful and I love the thicker straps too. And then this one is so precious. I love it. That's definitely like a more vintage tag, but the color scheme on this, oh my gosh, like even for a wedding guest, beautiful. Okay, doing pretty well with the dresses today. I'm actually vibing with this one too because I like this detail right here and the fact that it's a halter also. We're seeing a ton of this right now in Urban. You guys, my arms are so tired, but you know what? This is worth it. Look at this dress. Oh, it reminds me so much of the one that I thrifted in my 13 going on 30 video. But you see how right here it has like a bustier little detail and I love the polka dots. I'm seeing a lot of super feminine dresses like this on Urban Outfitters for spring and summer and I think they're so cute. Super flattering too. It's from BCX. Discovering new brands every day. I found a pair of overalls. They're pretty cool but they're kind of cut off at the weirdest length and I'm not so into capri so I'll pass on them but if they were like a full long pants I would have totally snatched that up. Here's two super cute skirts that I found but I won't be picking them up because I noticed that I don't wear mini skirts as much as I would like. But this first one, super beautiful blue. I've been seeing this color a lot. Periwinkle is probably my favorite color for the springtime. And then you guys know that I love the cargos. I found this mini cargo skirt. This is one of those like super micro mini skirts, which I personally don't think I can pull off or feel comfortable wearing, but I know a lot of people know how to rock these. Definitely one that like my sisters would have had back in high school. Okay, you guys, I made it back home and I hung up a couple of the things that I picked up on this thrift trip. I wanted to go ahead and do a haul here because thrift store change rooms were just not cute and my allergies are honestly really bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick try on of everything that I got and I'll let you know how much I paid for it all and also pop up some dupes of Urban Outfitters of what inspired me to pick up these items. So let's start with the first. Okay, typically I would have never thought to pair these two together, but I'm kind of really into it. Starting off with the bottoms, we got these low rise cargos. I paired them with my Adidas sneakers. You could actually still see the tag on them. These ones were just $8.99. They are definitely more low rise than I would typically go for, but that's kind of why I wanted to pair it with a longer shirt. The top we got from the lingerie section, $1.99. Like, what is that? I usually never find things less than $5 anymore, so such a steal. I mean, the top and the bottoms, less than 10 bucks. Okay, you know what? This top actually looks really good with these pants too. I feel like I need them to be slightly higher. They're still a little bit too low for me, but this O-ring right here, I've been seeing so many different styles of this in Urban Outfitters, both in 
like dresses and then tops, bikinis too. I'm telling you guys right now that my sisters, who are 7 years and 10 years older than me, had so many clothes that had little accents like this, like little metal rings. So this is definitely something that's coming back from like the early 2000s. And I especially love that the fabric is actually slightly shiny and metallic. Really just such a cute outfit, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this so much, but I'm about to sneeze. But you guys, if you are currently looking for a wedding guest inspo, I mean, Urban Outfitters got a ton of dresses that look so vintage inspired. Like, I'm obsessed. This piece right here, I love it so much. Everything from the coloring to the silhouette. <laughs> There's that sneeze. I feel like silhouettes like this, especially ones that kind of go to the knee, maybe even a little bit lower than the knee, that's what I'm projecting a lot of like the wedding guest style dresses are going to be looking like this year. Less super mini dresses, and I really think that the fabric everyone's going to go for is like this kind of chiffon. So I love the cut over here. You can see it has some extra fabric that just makes it look so flattering. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Okay, never in my life have I thought that I'd pick up a red dress because red, me, I mean, who is she? But this one was such a good dupe on so many levels because first of all, the top right here has that like little metal circle ring that I've been seeing a lot on Urban Outfitters right now. Plus, it's also a halter dress, which I kind of always liked on my body type. Definitely something I'd wear out to like a summer barbecue. But a dress like this definitely feels like something a really cool mom would wear. So I just got to complete it with the clock clip. Is this like perfect for summer or what? I'm in love. Okay, do you guys remember a couple of videos back? I did a thrifting 2000s movies video. One of the movies was 13 going on 30 and I found this yellow dress right here and I absolutely loved the way that it fit. The silhouette was so nice. And after that, I told myself I was gonna be a lot more open to buying dresses very similar to that. So then when this one came up yesterday, I fell in love with it immediately. Like the polka dots, the white with the turquoise, obviously. The part of it that's very Urban Outfitters inspired, a lot of dresses kind of with a bustier cut just like this, where over here you have a little bit of the ruffling. So there was a lot of that. And there was a couple of a-line dresses in the silhouette also and i keep going on my tippy toes because i feel like a dress like this needs heels as much as i always want a pair of sneakers with everything but this just makes me want to like twirl in the field it's always fun to go a bit out of your comfort zone and try pieces you never thought you'd be comfortable wearing and it just really makes me feel like a main character of one of these like 2000s movies and then this last one i would definitely say polar opposite of the dresses i was just wearing but hey style doesn't have to be a specific thing or a specific aesthetic you could definitely love a bunch of different styles that's what i love to play around with and that's why i picked up this adidas track jacket i honestly just fell in love with the color and i really like the fit too i feel like windbreakers like this are so fun they're such an easy thing to throw on if you think about it i'm just wearing a crop top and jeans and sneakers but then throwing on this jacket automatically makes me feel so much more stylish and for sure in the men's section of urban outfitters there's a bunch of windbreakers and jackets just like this one and i know that this one was half off listed for 7.99 just four dollars for a windbreaker i'll always take that all right you guys this girl super tired super sniffly I feel like I just need to take a shower and decongest everything. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this thrifting for Urban Outfitter dupes video. It's been so long since I've done it. If you watch back my other videos, you can gradually see how my style has changed and what I decided to pick up. But if you did spot something you like, I'm actually going to go ahead and link down below all of the dupes from the Urban Outfitter site. You guys can go ahead and shop it for yourself. And be sure to go ahead and download the Karma Chrome extension so that you guys can start adding things to list. And then as soon as anything goes on sale, you'll be notified so that you can get these awesome pieces at really great prices. Comment down below which of these pieces were your favorite. And if you do want to see me posting reels of these outfits and just outfit inspo in general, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's just Haley's Corner with two R's, where I'm honestly posting sneak peeks of my thrift trips before they come up here on YouTube. So you can get the real previews there. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.